Tamel, and welcome back to Spring Heels Speed Build. This is part six, and we are currently at, what, three hours and 12 minutes. So since this is a four hour challenge, starting to think that this is probably not going to be done under that four hour limit. Um, I'm now trying to aim for about a four and a half, but we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. One thing I noticed uh, when I loaded up the map here is that the ceiling brushwork that we put around all the rooms last time has actually clipped through the floor. If we hide this we can see the floor is actually lower than that brush and that's a bit of a problem because I don't want that uh, to be showing through like that. I could just turn it into wood but then the door would clip into it when it opens. So I'm gonna actually have to move that. So let's begin. Uh, we're gonna hide all the entities and I'm going to check this wall here, see that the floor does go down, or the floor can go down rather, without creating a gap here. So I'm going to move this floor down, one, two. Now I can see that floor, it sticks up higher and it looks like we still are not, uh, we haven't created a gap here I'm hoping. Let's just hide this floor for a minute, and Alt-Tab, and Alt-Tab, how are we on there? Yes, okay, good, we should be good here. So, uh, let's turn back like that, put our entities back, and now that's fixed. So let's get moving on decorating this room. We're going to do this quickly. Uh, this is the bedroom of the um, thug uh, leader, whatever we're going to call him, the chief. So he's probably um, got all the best stuff for himself here. So we're going to put in some, some wealthy furniture, uh, but additionally some junk because this is still a hideout. It's not like he's living in a mansion. Um, what else do we want? Seating. I want a sofa. Sofa one, sofa two, sofa one is the one I think I would like. And this is going to be where the secret safe is, or something. So we'll put that there. Um, we will put another something to sit in. Hmm, that might be a little too fancy for the setting. This will be okay, but let's make it red. And we will put that down, R for rotate, we'll put this on a bit of an angle like that. So that looks like it's kind of just left there, maybe he was sitting and talking to someone. Okay, so now let's see what we've got in the way of prefabs to fill this place up. Uh, oh, yeah, well, I was looking through some of the prefabs and I found this, which I think I will use. It's just an empty cabinet. And it ha at the moment we put it in, it's actually locked um, with a key in it. You can kind of see the key in there. I don't think I want this locked. I haven't decided quite what I want to have locked and what I don't. Oops, leave that on. Unlock it, unlock it, and we'll hide the key. Delete that. We'll put some stuff in there. Maybe we'll put a little bit of loot in there later in the loot phase. Uh, we also want to put in some um, junk, just general junk. Um, but stuff that looks like not so much industrial junk, definitely room junk we want to put in. So I'll plop this down here. do we want beside that? Put some more room junk. Sure, we'll use one of those again. Maybe put that there like that. How does that look? How does that fit? Yeah, we can even move that over a little bit like that. Uh, let's see, what else can we put in? Something in this corner. I don't know about a cauldron. Any wall junk that's appropriate? 
not really. What about some random junk? Well, I'll probably use that. We could easily have that lying around in the room. Uh, let's see, can we floor it? Good. Save some time. And, oops. Let's put some shelves. No bookshelves. Uh, we could use some of these generic ones, but I haven't used this yet, and it's a little bit wealthier looking. Again, this is a thug who likes some of the finer things. They have been obviously doing well for themselves. And, oops. Okay. And what else? Maybe we can put some shelves on the wall. Uh, simple room, simple room, books, no. Picture, yes. Let's put that over here. Lower it down and rotate it. There. Okay, that looks good. And let's see, we need some more stuff in this area. It's a little bit um, bare. Not beds. Let's go back to, what about household? Sure, let's put a stack of clothing somewhere. Maybe right by the bed. Whoops. Huh. Okay, that did not work. Let's not floor it. Uh, sometimes flooring works, and sometimes it does not on these prefabs. And that was a case where it did not. Okay, so let's just say he's dropped some clothing and his boots right on the floor there. Some, some nice scattered stuff. Where else can we get some scattered junk? Hanging tools, that might be good elsewhere, but I don't think in here, nope, nope. Uh, what about shelf objects? Uh, the, most of these things are in a row for putting on shelves. Uh, this one looks like it could just be against the wall, so let's use that and floor it. There, scattered debris, junk. In fact, we almost could just copy this one, rotate it, maybe move it over there just so that, actually I'd like to be able to see the bucket, so we'll move it over there like that just so there's a little bit in there. Starting to look a little bit more lived in. Now here we're going to be putting some kind of painting or safe in there. I'm going to wait until, let's put it to three, about the same scale, I'm going to wait until I'm almost done before I decide exactly what I'm going to do there because it will depend how much time we have left. Let's bring a little bit of light in here. We'll copy one of these and move it against the wall. And this comes with a candle. I don't think we anything else we brought in comes with a candle. But let's take, let's ungroup this. We'll copy the candle it up on top of here. It's immovable, so we'll just let it fall down. And um, maybe we've got some stuff out in the hall here. Let's grab one of these. Oh, this is a little off center, which means this one probably is too. Copy one, we'll move it in here, and oops. And we'll just move this over like that, and over like that. Good, and I think we'll just copy the beam, but not the light. I don't want too much light in here. And there, I think that'll do it cluttered room, a few things to make it look a little bit more posh, placed a little bit of loot, and our secret area which will be there. Good, okay, let's save that. 
Okay, so the next step now is to uh, attempt to demap this map. And there's a good chance that this will not work because there's probably a gap somewhere. I've never had a perfect map. Uh, so let's go in and I'm hoping it will record properly. We will see. Make sure I'm actually recording, yeah. So let's start up our mod. And let's do, I'm going to turn this volume down a bit. And we'll go to DMAP speed build 6. Yeah. So as expected, there is a leak. So we go back to the map, we go up to a point file, and that tells us where the leak goes. Now what I like to do is immediately turn off all the entities. Entities have no effect whatsoever on ceiling. And so, you might as well just get rid of them so that they don't clutter up the screen and you can find out what's going on. Now, where is this line going? Where is the line? Monster clip also doesn't help anything. Okay, so remember, this is not the ce The floor there is decorative. It's not ceiling. Okay, so there is a problem here about where these two things matched, uh, met. That's pretty much where I expected there to be problems. Anytime you have two rooms that kind of meet at a spot like this, you can have problems. So we're just going to grab this, thicken it down. I thought I had avoided that, but I guess not. And we will save again, back up here, and let's try this again. Demap speed build six. I should have picked a shorter name. Another leak. <laughs> This is a process that can go on for hours, or at least it used to for me. I'm hoping the, this is relatively simple, so I'm hoping this will not take so much time. Oh, yes, okay. Now, what do you do when you get a short little line like this that's outside? What could that be? Well, that means that the origin of something close to the wall is actually sticking through the wall. And I mentioned before the origin of some of these things not ideally placed, so we have to make our walls a little bit thicker. If the origin is inside a brush, it doesn't matter. And it still works, it will still demap. So I'm going to do the same thing over here on the assumption that some of them might stick through there. That's a reason why sometimes it's good to have thicker walls for sealing brushwork. Let's try this again. Wow, that was it? There was only two? I'm a little surprised, to be honest. Now that doesn't mean there's not internal leaks, leaks between rooms, which is something we do want to check for because it can ruin how sound travels, but uh, at the moment, I'm just going to load this up and see what the map looks like. Now I'm not going to count loading the map and running around and looking at it as part of the build time. I mean, technically I guess it is part of the build time, but um, since I am not going to meet my four hour limit, uh, you can call that cheating if you like, but I've decided that this part is not technically build time since I'm not actually building anything. I'm just checking stuff out. Okay, now one thing I noticed, I, I'm not real keen on those lights up there. So what, what I like to do is as I go through the map, I have a little piece of paper by my keyboard and I jot down things that I need to deal with. Or another thing I will sometimes do is just take screenshots to remind myself later. But I'm not keen on those lights. I don't like the way they light up the ceiling. I don't like those shadows. This is where I want the player to start. Uh, this area could use a little more clutter maybe. That machine looks pretty good. Some clutter there. And now we get to see what it looks like out here. This is not too bad. I like the lighting. Uh, some nice details. Get to see the doors. Uh, there's little places to hide here. This might, yeah, that's a little bit too close together. The player can't get through there. So I want to run through and kind of check to make sure the player can get into areas. Good, they can get into this spot. 
lots of dark areas, but again, we'll have a torch guy. Now I changed the lighting here so that it's a little bit more forgiving. You still have to dart out into the light a bit, but then you've got these nice dark corners you can use, uh, assuming that there's no guy with a torch. Now I've got to remember I have that AI there that I put in a while ago just for scale. So we're going to have to kind of sneak by him so that he doesn't ruin this test for us. Yeah, see I'm not keen on the lighting in here either. So uh, it doesn't actually light up much of this scene at all. So I'm going to change that lighting. Uh, this may, room also could benefit from a little bit of clutter, a little bit more. Oh no, we have a locked door here, and since I did not give us any equipment, any developer equipment, I often do when I'm testing, just give a full set of equipment, we're going to have to no-clip through this door instead. Boy, I really hope this is recording. Uh, okay, so now here is the internal area, the thugs hideout. Uh, looks pretty good. A little bit more posh than I might have chosen otherwise, but very nice. Okay, so we've got a little area here. That looks good. Can't really see anything over there. That's nice. That's nice. The shelves are mostly in shadow. Can't see the weapon rack. Does that come out of the door? Remember that was a question. Nope. All right, uh, yeah, I guess that's okay for lighting. These rooms are not super important. I might scatter a few coins around here and there. Okay, uh, yeah, so far so good. You know, I don't have a lantern to turn on, so we can't really check much about how that looks. Same thing in here. I don't know if I want to light it up. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense that these rooms would be lit if they're just kind of abandoned junk rooms. But at the same time, you need the player to be able to see things. And lastly, how do we do here? Okay, no clipping in the bottom. Good. Yeah, this looks not too bad. Sort of atmospheric lighting, sense of clutter. It looks lived in. And that wall stands out a little bit to draw the player's attention, but not hugely. That opens. That clips a bit, but I don't think I get too concerned about that. Um, I could probably use a little bit of light coming through that window. I'm not great with that kind of light, but I'll throw something quickly in there, I guess. Maybe a little small little ambient. Mm hmm. Yeah, this does seem like it works rather well for putting this together in less than four hours. In gameplay terms, the player is probably going to need some water arrows to get through here. But that's okay. We'll give them a few water arrows. They're of no use in the warehouse. So it's okay to ask him to spend a few here, I think. Yeah, it looks lived in. I don't think we can ask much more than this in a four hour build. All right, and that's locked. Okay, so good. So we have everything uh, sealed. We're gonna throw a few more viz portals in here and there. But I think the next step is to move on to placing AI and monster clipping everything. And we'll see if we can keep that down to about 20 minutes, maybe. Um, then there's a few other things, maybe placing some ambient sound, getting some... Oh, we still have objectives. I don't think I'm going to put any readables, or if I do, very few in here, just to cut down on time. But uh, this is coming together not too badly. All right, so we'll end it there. Um, I think I will continue to add to this video because there is still more to do and I don't think we've been at it that long so far. All right, we're back again. And uh, now we're gonna deal with some of the things that we noticed in that walkthrough that we did. 
uh, for starters, uh, these lights are not uh, doing a very good job. They're pointing down a little bit too much. They're illuminating the ceiling, which I don't want. So I've decided we are going to get rid of those and replace them with something else. So let's get started. I'm going to delete that light and that light. And we'll see if we can replace them with something different. Uh, we'll use something that's still kind of industrial. So that's pointing down. That one looks like it's more pointing out, which is, I think, better for our purposes here. It'll illuminate a little bit more of what's going on. And it also has a sound attached to it, which is not a bad thing. We haven't really thought much about sounds at all yet. And it is something that we'll want in an environment like this. Okay, let's pull it down above there and put it somewhere so it's about centered. Is it clipping into the wall? And let's move it so there. We'll have it clip a little bit and move it out. There. It's too bad there's not a sideways uh, flooring. I guess that would be walling. Okay, so we like that there, and let's clone. We'll rotate it, and we'll put that on this side. Now it's going to be behind that machine, which means we don't have to worry too much if it's perfectly clipped. Although I would like it to be a little more centered. Speaking of centered, I noticed that this is right at the very edge, and the other one is not. So I'm going to move this over slightly. That'll also make it clip less with this, just so it's a little bit more balanced. OK, so let's switch to lighting mode, see what this looks like instead. I think this will do a better job of illuminating everything that's in here. Uh, yes, much better. It also makes the door a little bit more dangerous, which I like. Okay, so we're going to keep that. Let's select both lights, clone them, move them over here, and if we line them up against one wall, it should be lined up against both walls, since this is the same size. There. And is it more or less centered? Sure, it looks good. Where was the original light? Yeah, OK, so let's get rid of this light, and we'll get rid of that light. Good. Oh, wait, that's right in the middle of the pipe. Can't do that. OK, well, that one's going to have to go up a little bit. Or we'll move the pipe. Maybe we should move the pipe instead. Let's move that over this way. That way that pipe will give a little bit of shadow to the player when the player starts. And let's just, oh, this is not grouped. Oh, that would have been handy if it was. Let's just group it, clone it, and move it so that there's a little bit of junk back there too. OK, good. We'll save that. OK, so the lights are now done. Uh, let's go out. One other thing I noticed when I was walking around was this. We have one of our ceiling brushes is blocking the window. It's a little bit too close. So if we go to our entities and hide them, uh, we need to move this over just a touch. So this wall is thick enough, if we go back to grid of two, that we can move it over one. And again, because of the way hollowing works, as long as we're moving the inside side of the brush, we know we can't create any leaks that way. So is that enough? Yeah, good. So that's done. So the next thing we're going to start doing is monster clipping. Now I noticed a few areas where the player could get stuck. And here's how you check for where the player and AI can go. Uh, the player and the AI both use uh, a 32 unit cylinder to decide where they can go. So I like to make a 34 sided square. 
and use that to decide whether there's enough space. So this was the area where the player got stuck. So right there you can see that there's not quite enough space. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, let's select that group. No, that just one group, which is that. We'll move those down a little bit. And go back to this. That is now enough room to move through there, although it's still going to be tight once we get the monster clip in. So let's move these a little bit that way. We still have plenty of room in there. Now what about in between? No. So let's grab these. This is why it's nice to leave stuff grouped. Move them that way. Tight squeeze, but it's doable. So we can shift these over a bit because we've got the room. So we can get through here. Lots of room in there. Can't get in there, but I don't care because I don't have to get in there. This is area is going to be kind of blocked. Uh, and they, we know we can get past there. I've already walked through it. We've gone in there. Lots of room around here and here. And how about in here? Uh, yeah, there's room. You can't get through there. And you can't get through there. So let's zip over to the spot. And maybe we'll take these and move them forward because there's nothing else in, the, in that area. Oh, got the floor. Be careful with my selections. That's how you can open leaks. So we'll move that up there like that. That should be plenty of room now for the player and AI to get through here. Yep. Now they can't get through here. Is that a problem? This is all one group. Uh, why not move that over a little bit? Move that against the wall a little bit and maybe up. Yeah, it's still going to be tight. Move this over a bit. This one over as much as we want. So have that. Now plenty of room to move through there and there and there and there and there. Okay, so it looks like we've got lots of room. Okay. Um, all right. So let's start putting monster clip around stuff then in here. And here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to draw very large brushes that go all the way up to the top. Good. And make sure they're surrounded with monster clip. Now I need to turn monster clip on. And we're just going to put that around everywhere the AI could go. And you'll notice I'm not being super careful. It doesn't matter if this sticks out a little bit. In fact, we want it to stick out a little bit as long as the, the AI still has room to get around. That is the only time we have to worry about how accurate the monster clip is. And we'll put it around that. We'll have to double check in there in a minute. I think I lost my player brush, didn't I? 34. And yep, it fits. Okay, we're just going to leave that there. Actually, we'll leave it over here so I can't help but see it. Oh, and don't make a monster clip uh, just because that will blend in when I turn the filter off. I will forget it's there. Now, these stairs are already monster clipped, which is nice. I'm also going to put monster clip around all of the walls because I don't want the AI to get too close to the walls. Um, because sometimes they have a tendency to bounce off the uh, rounded edges there, and I don't want that. Monster Clip can uh, intersect without Z fighting. It's invisible, so I don't have to be careful about whether the edges meet or not. Uh, and we are going to put clip Monster Clip around everything, because we don't want the AI to run into anything put some along this edge. I'm going to put some along... Oh, uh, one thing we do have to make sure we don't do 
is put monster clip over the doors. So we want to leave the AI room to get through the door uh, without actually. In fact, yeah, we're going to have to cut the door out because we need the monster clip at the top. So let's just fill this all the way down to the end. Okay, hide this for a minute, grab this, select the monster clip, hide everything else, and then we will cut the monster clip the same way we cut the ceiling brushwork. Oh, except, uh, okay, hold on, redo. I didn't want to do that. Okay, uh, except, I'm going to undo that cut, except this time we want it to stick out a little bit into the doorway so that the AI does not hit the model. So we'll do it like that and then select the center, raise that up. Doesn't matter how high it is, we just need that there so that the AI doesn't try to walk through that gap. Uh, okay, so that's good. Where else do we need to go? Okay, so we haven't done anything over here. Let's put Monster Clip over here. Eventually what will happen is that we won't be able to see anything but Monster Clip. Uh, we're going to Monster Clip this. Also, it's useful when you're Monster Clipping to uh, make sure that it goes all the way up to the top um, rather than just make it the height of the actual model because then uh, the engine generates pathfinding for AI on top of those surfaces and that just wastes time because they can't actually get to the top of those surfaces. Uh, can we clip? I want to select that one. I find it a little disorienting. There it is. Once you get a lot of monster clip on here to figure out where the heck you are. So that's close to the door. We'll get that later. Uh, monster clip down here and here and here and here. Uh, maybe we'll go down like that. AI might be able to get in there. Remember, the AI doesn't actually have to reach the player. They have a reach, an attack reach of something like 60 or 70. So as long as they can, uh, oh crap, these things, I've, these brushes, I must have selected something that didn't go all the way down to the floor. That's annoying. I wonder how many times I did that. The AI has a reach of about 70 or so, which means that even if they can't get to the player, as long as they can reach them, they can still do an attack. Uh, okay, boy, it's getting confusing in here. I really lose my ability to tell what's what once all the monster clip gets in. Let's bring this down here, which is why I usually have it off, I hope. I'm going to have to do a check to make sure all of these actually go down to the bottom, which is irritating. Uh, how are we for door? This one, it doesn't matter what's above because the AI can't walk up there, so we don't actually have to cut this one out. We just have to do that. And then we have to draw another one over here. And in fact, we'll bring this over since there's junk there to cover all of that. And come in like this. this wall and this machine. And over here, this junk, and pretty much everything over here because the AI cannot possibly get through that pipe. And we will monster clip along the wall and monster clip there. So this is really clumsy monster clipping. It's not in any way accurate, but it doesn't have to be. Monster 
clip there. Monster clip this. And I guess we did not do this. And this. Oh, now wait. This. If we do that, uh, the, AI will get, the AI will not be able to get through. I'm not even 100% sure they can get through there. Uh, I better check that. Where's our where is our little test pillar? There it is. Come on down here. Can you get through there? No. Okay, then we're gonna have to move this stuff. Uh, again, completely disoriented. Okay, so let's just move this over. We've got plenty of room. Boy, it would be a lot easier if I just got rid of that ceiling. So I can actually click on things there. And we'll move that over there like that. Plenty of room now for the player. Okay, and the AI. So that's all clipped. That's clipped. Uh, these areas need to be clipped. So I clip that. We will clip. Oh, come on. That doesn't help at all. We will clip this. Uh, actually, this doesn't have to be clipped quite that well. We'll clip the door in here. And I think that should be about it. So let's delete this. So now as we walk around this room, oh, come on, now what are we doing? Why are we going only up that high? clicking on things and oh probably because I clicked those stupid crates yeah that's one of the downfalls of that so it's possible some of these do not go where they need to go but I hope I got them all Come that out. well if it doesn't go high enough it really doesn't hurt things that much now what about here we can get through there right Right, uh, 34, yeah. Okay, uh, then that's all the monster clip for that area. We've got monster clipped in there. We're gonna monster clip in this room now. So we'll clip all of that. We will clip all of this. We will clip pretty much everything on this side because we don't want the Guards trying to get past that pipe. And then uh, we've already got the wall done. We do have to do the door over here. Oh, and also the workbench. So I'll clip that. We might as well extend that right in so that it covers that wall. And we'll extend this in so that it covers everything up to the door. And then we'll do another one here. Now I'm actually extending it in so that it covers all the way along the wall on the living quarters as well. It goes far enough out that it's going to keep the AA from banging into those. Okay, so I'm moving into the living quarters now. Let's do all the outside walls first. We're going to come in far enough that we can keep the AI from banging into the uh, railings. Uh, this wall needs one. This wall needs one. And we're still full height. Good. Uh, oh, we'll have to worry about the doors. But outside first. That needs one. This needs one. This needs one. Let's go check out the door here. Where the heck are we? Oh, okay. Where's the door? There's the door. So we'll come in just to door there. This one again, just to the door. Uh, and then bring that back to here. 
We'll monster clip all of this at the same time. And we don't want the AI walking over these buckets. So we'll monster clip that and that and all of this. We don't want them going on the bed or stepping on the clothes. And that, that, and the chair. Okay, that should cover everything in that room. We've got this wall and this wall. This can go like this, but we have to do the door. And this time, we might actually have to cut the monster clip because the, in fact, let's do this because the door on the bottom is not the same as the door on the top. So where is the floor? The floor is right there. So let's clip this monster clip right in the middle of the floor. Now we can worry about what's going on up here. Uh, let's cut this. Let's hide it. Select the door. Hide it again. And we'll cut this right where the door is. Okay, so now that did not cut. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Let's cut it again. Open it up. And it's not opening the floor below us because we cut it in half. And we'll do the same thing over here. Cut it right there. Grab this, move it over so that it is showing the door, but not much else. And they can actually grab. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's good for there. Uh, now we just have to finish off the layer on the bottom. Wait, is this monster clipped? Yes, sorry. It is. That's not. So let's continue that over into the corner there. And we don't have a wall along here, so let's monster clip this. And then we'll have to do those rooms individually. And once again, floor. Sorry, ceiling. We're doing it from this way. Clip it in the middle so we can deal with one floor at a time. And chop it by the doors. I guess that's good enough. Open it up about like that. And I can afford to bring this over a little bit. And oh, what about maybe make that a bit thicker? And then this one, let's cut that by this door here. Say about here. Grab this and open up the door and bring that in just a touch. It should be all right. Okay, now let's just do inside here. Now, here we don't want to go all the way up to the ceiling because then it will affect the room above. So, we're just going to do a monster clip like this. Really, I should go all the way to the, to the ceiling, but I'm not going to worry too much if it creates some AES areas on top of that. I just want to get this done. So, and we'll keep them from walking uh, along that wall. And it's got to come out a little bit more, or we've got to add a little bit more there. That will work. A little bit higher. Uh, we need to cover that part of the door frame like that and like that in here. We're going to cover these shelves and the weapons rack. And we don't want anyone trying to walk over this stuff. 
And are these, I can't tell if these are movable chairs. If they're movable, the AI will kick them out of the way. If they're not, they tend to treadmill on them. So I'm just going to block them just to be on the safe side. Okay, so that should be pretty good. I don't see anything sticking out that the AI can get trapped on. Let's go upstairs now and we'll fill in around the junk here. And for this, I think we'll just put in some stuff anywhere where there is junk lying on the floor. because the chances of the AI coming in here are not very good anyway. Okay, last room. And we'll again do the corners where the junk is. And how does that work? Should be, oh wait, gotta do that wall too. Otherwise, we could have the AI treadmill into it. All right, I think that is enough monster clip everywhere. If it's not, we will eventually find out. Now let's get rid of our builder guard that we put in here for scale, because the next step is to start adding in some AI.